Hey, good morning, everybody. This is the blueberry plant, which I just added some soil. I think it was two days ago. It's looking okay. Hopefully, in the next few days, it's gonna improve on its looks because, as you can see, it's very dry. The fruit is dead, pretty much. So, yeah. Uh, those are the strawberries. Pomegranate plant. Potatoes. These ones are looking nice. These ones hasn't popped. Uh, only this, which is very small. So, hopefully they will start popping soon. Asparagus. Onions looking good. I worked on the weeds yesterday. This is looking a little bit better. As you can see. Compost. Snow peas. Today is quite dark. Well, the sun is coming out sometimes, but it's cloudy. But the weather is not too bad. Um, snow peas looking nice. There is more heat in around here. Thing. I saw one yesterday around here. This one. Look at that. Very nice. Right here. It's quite fun to try to find them around there, like finding a prize. There you go. This is not too bad for today. Tomorrow is probably probably is gonna be more. Okay, so. Yesterday, I planted the pumpkins. I put these bottles on top so it keeps the moisture. It's looking nice. And today, I'm gonna do the rest of the seeds that I wanted to do yesterday. So, some tomatoes. I got some lettuce. Seaweed, land seaweed, lettuce, uh, kale, gooseberry, cape gooseberries, and the tomatoes. So, I'm gonna put this away. Watermelon as well. I got two watermelons coming out, and I need three, so I'm gonna plant. Maybe two or three, just in case. And see how they develop. Plant seaweed. Gonna get this. Lettuce. Okay. Gooseberry. Black Toscana. And the tomatoes. Okay, so. Got. And plant the lettuce first.
So I just put them on my hand. I'm gonna put two or three in there. Same on this side. So I'm gonna fill this line with lettuce see how they develop this one, this one. Last one here okay I'm gonna close this here And that's it, very simple. I'm gonna put it in my pocket and I'm gonna get some soil. And I'm just gonna cover this lightly. soil is nice and warm it's quite nice ah, sorry about my breathing my nose being blocked in the last few days just allergies anyway it's nice and covered here so for that one I already had written the name of it so I'm just gonna say that row is gonna be that next row uh, land seaweed I want to plant it in a pot so I have this pot Shit. I hope it doesn't fall and I just got rid of this stuff there doesn't matter what I throw stuff because it's going to decompose and I mean that's the beauty of I guess the nature you just throw stuff away and then nature takes care of it it decomposes and becomes into beneficial um, beneficial stuff for the plants So for this one, I'm gonna make how deep temperatures required for germination. So these seeds need to be over 20 degrees in order for it to germinate. So I'm just gonna put a few holes here. Just like stick two, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think these ones are more like small grass, small seaweed. So I'm gonna plant more around there, make like a circle. Two, three, and need to be careful not to get it wet. This is really wet. It was raining yesterday and I left the table outside. And the last one here for there you go. I'm gonna put a little bit more here for Maybe not all of them, maybe, I don't know. It's 
to see. I'm gonna try to use as much as I can because if they don't pop out, then you know I can get more seeds or whatever. But at least I'm trying. Cool. It's covered. Looks nice. this in there I'm not gonna waste my time putting them back it's quite tight that part in there this is tight so it's really hard to put them inside and they are already wet so I better avoid any problems let's put it there well good so good luck for this So for this one I can do maybe two. Uh, for each pot. One we go that way. One, two. I put them close to each other. One, two. One, two. Not very close, but still close. So I'm just putting a lot in there. Uh, if they grow, great. I can I can just thin out them and choose the strongest seed, and the rest will just I will just throw it away. So I'm gonna cover this. That's it, quite easy. Nice. I had the name already here. Back to scanner. Tomatoes, I'm gonna plant them tomorrow. And I'm just gonna do Cape Gooseberry and what's the other one? Uh, watermelons. Yep. Cape Gooseberry. I love Cape Gooseberries. They are sour and good flavor. I think they also have a lot of vitamin C, which is good. They are quite small, so I don't think they need a lot of soil on top. It's lively. Just gonna do four. Four. <laughs> what else? Uh, watermelons. Put this back. This is done. Watermelon. War paint. So this is a heirloom variety. Um, it looks very nice on the pictures. Let's see how they look. Wait, I uh, need to put a name for this Cape Gooseberries. I'm gonna plant 
two. Two for the watermelon. I'll put one here. And the other one here. Two. Cover it with a lot of soil because the the seed is quite big, so it needs a deep, deep sowing. That's good, like that. All right. So we've got Cape gooseberries here. Cape Gooseberry Cape Goose here one last thing War paint War paint So I'm just gonna say this one here, I'm gonna know this too. I may plant more things here tomorrow, but I'm just gonna leave it for today. And I'm gonna put the cover. Shoe water first. Be careful with not like over watering. I'm just gonna put it on this a bit. That's enough. I used to put a lot of water and it was not good. Like it was getting soggy and the plants will grow. Uh, and also the roots will grow so long that even it will get out of the tray. So the roots will not expand. It will just like go deep and try to grab all that water that was um, getting stuck in the bottom of, of this tray. So I don't think that's, the, I, that's not the intention of it. You want the plants to start growing wide and with a lot of roots. So to prevent that, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's by avoiding overwatering and just like getting it moisture on top of the soil here. So be careful with that. Uh, I'm just gonna put it here next to the sand. Keep it nice and warm. And I may have to cover this because the water can get inside through this. So if it rains, it's gonna be a problem. So I'm just gonna get like um, clean wrap, put it on top. And that's it for today. I'm gonna do the tomatoes tomorrow. Oh, I wanna show you the beans. If you have been following the progress of the beans and the corn, just here that corn is looking nice they are so sowed directly into the soil these ones uh, were grown on the pots first and then i transplanted this one as well and it's looking a little bit like too small but anyway that's all right another corn here and there should be three more here, but they are not there. Anyway, that's okay. So I have more videos about how to do stuff in the garden. Um, most of the videos that I'm doing these days is gardening blog. 
um, but you can go on my channel uh, find the playlists one of them is gardening blog and the other one is just gardening so you can learn how to do a few things that I have already learned and get interested in your gardening because it's fun and addictive so have a nice day everybody I'll see you all tomorrow